Um, actually, the audition process is quite interesting because I was on my honeymoon uh, on a small island in northern Australia, <laughs> in Queensland. Uh, so obviously I was trying to not do too much work because I was on my honeymoon. Uh, but this audition came in and of course I had to do it. So um, my husband read for Anna and filmed my audition for me. So I was very grateful to him. Uh, and then we went camping in the rainforest and had no internet and they needed a callback audition. So uh, it was difficult because uh, I was <laughs> camping and uh, couldn't get the tape straight away. But a couple of days later, sent another tape and then a few days later flew to Vancouver. So it happened very quickly. And um, once I was in Vancouver, I only had a couple of days to prepare the role. I was lucky because I had the movie and uh, you know it's that gives you a lot about how she talks and walks and moves and and um, and then I also uh, researched about the different reactions to the movie around the world and how different people responded to Elsa's character in particular and in particular her problems and her concerns because um, connecting to those was why uh, the movie was so uh, important to people. Um, Elsa was important to people because they understood what it felt like to be um, to be feeling like you're alone or that you don't fit in or feeling like you're overwhelmed and can't deal with a situation. So um, yes, I, I researched uh, those reactions and, and tried to make sure that I uh, gave Elsa um, the proper emotional um, heart that she had in the film um, but also she had to be a real woman so I tried to make her as real as possible um, and hopefully I, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't difficult uh, because I love Elizabeth like she is my sister. Um, she's such a beautiful girl and um, it was her first acting job, so I could take her under my wing a little bit because I've been doing it for about eight years or so. So um, yeah, we kind of had a little bit of a big sister, little sister relationship off screen as well as on screen, and we've become very good friends. Um, yeah, so definitely being playing yeah Elizabeth's sister was was very easy um, and 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 very joyful. Um, I have no idea. I would love to, obviously. Um, I was very sad taking off the Elsa costume for the last time because it had felt like such a privilege and a joy to play her. Um, I, was, I was thinking, will this be the last time I get to be Elsa? So I don't know. Uh, maybe she will come back. It's difficult because um, they're doing a Frozen 2 and they don't want the character to exist in two different ways on two different formats. So it'll probably have to be after season, after Frozen 2 comes out. Um, so I don't know, I'd love to, obviously. Be fun, I could, I could help fight monsters with my powers. <laughs> yes, um, they, they are, diff I, I had never worked um, with massive green screen or blue screen. Um, and at first I felt a bit sick because there was green everywhere in this huge room and on the roof and um, yes, it just made me feel a bit nauseous, but you get used to it. Um, they, the nice thing is they show you on a, a video monitor what it will look like when they you put in the CGI. So you look at the monitor and try to remember, okay, there's a fireplace there and a window there. And then you go out and you try not to walk through the fireplace and you try to <laughs> make sure you remember where everything is. Um, I loved I loved so many of them. Um, I loved the scene down in the dungeon with Anna where I'm kind of pretending to be angry at her and then um, yeah, it turns out she's playing a trick on the guard just because it's so cute and fun and get to be angry and then and then get to have this great little moment with your sister and yeah, that was really fun. I would like to be Cruella de Vil. 
because she is so such a great character, <laughs> so evil. Um, I mean, what's worse than killing puppies? Nothing. <laughs> um, and I just think she would be such a fun character to get to play. Um, yeah, you know, properly evil, would be, that would be fun. I miss the company because the, the group of actors was really special. Everybody was very lovely, but also incredibly talented. And I just enjoyed seeing the way people worked and getting to work with them. Um, also, the crews in Vancouver are really cool. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, it just makes working a, a, a really joyful experience. So I miss, yeah, I miss the cast and crew for sure. hard to beat Elsa because <laughs> <laughs> she is a snow queen <laughs> and um, but also I think it's not just it's not just because she is this great character who has awesome costumes I think um, the writers gave her such a great journey and lots of great moments to 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 act in and the writers on Once Upon a Time write really well for women and and they write things that are funny but that are also really moving and yeah, so that was great. But um, there's also an Australian film called The Mule where I got to play um, a bit of a kick-ass lawyer and that was really fun. But I I've loved all the roles I've got to do. I also got to play Paula Yates in um, a telly movie about In Excess, the band, the Australian band. And that was a privilege because Paula Yates is an amazing woman and quite a character herself. And um, yeah, that was, that was a real honour as well. So I, I just feel lucky to get to do any of the characters. <laughs>